Arduino powered irrigation system. Did you know that Philippine agriculture employs over 23% of the Philippines workforce? And did you also know that Philippine agriculture consists of the 10% of the Philippines annual GDP? Those are some pretty big numbers, but the Philippines is not without its problems. Well, irrigation requires water. You need to water the plants properly and when they need the optimal amount of water content. But currently, irrigation techniques in the Philippines aren't as advanced. Farmers have a schedule and look at the state of their plants and see whether it needs water or not. And when they actually irrigate the water, it's through buckets and they don't really look at the amount of water they're giving to the plants. That can cause overrun and leaching, which can harm the growth of the plants. So what can we do about it? Well, we decided to tackle that by creating an irrigation system that uses microcontrollers and works by reading the water content. This is how. First of all, we needed to tackle the irrigation system. To take care of that, we used a motor pump with airline tubes. A 5 volt relay module was also used to ensure a safe flow of current. Now, why an Arduino? Well, Arduinos are basically little computers that can fit in the palm of your hand. They are open source, meaning the code is easily available and free to access and pretty easy to work with. They also require very little power and are pretty affordable. To actually test the soil, we used a capacitive moisture sensor. It's cheap and according to past research, they're still pretty accurate compared to other methods. The sensor has a positive and a negative plate and uses the change in capacitance of the soil to send a voltage reading to the board. This voltage reading is then proportional to the moisture content, which we can derive for. You just have to make sure that the moisture sensor is close to the part of the soil that you want to measure, since the effective range is just around 1 cm. Furthermore, the system has three different modes for optimal soil moisture content based on commonly found agricultural products. After each irrigation cycle, time will be given to let the water dissipate, and if the reading is within range, the irrigation will stop. If it is not within range, it will continue to irrigate. Now that we have a system set up, we need to do some testing to see how accurate it is. We tested three samples of soil underneath each mode, giving us nine total samples. To do this, we compared the water content reading from the sensor based on the mass of the soil before and after irrigation cycles. Using these values, we calculated the percent error and averaged it per mode. According to these values, the current version of Appears may not be usable yet for commercial applications. Currently, the system has average percent errors for each system setting at around 70%. Considering the time in between data readings, there may not have been enough time for the water to dissipate in the soil samples. Furthermore, inconsistent soil particles may have created air pockets around the sensor and given it different reading values. So what now? Well. Appears isn't fully 100% functional, but we have some plans in motion to improve it. We plan to add a casing around the sensor so that only a small portion of the sensor is going to be exposed to the soil, water, and air. We've also started to plan testing using much longer cycles in the multiple hour range instead of 7.5 minutes so that we could allow for proper water dissipation in the soil. Hopefully, in the future, Appears will reach its full potential. After all, this could be a great help to any farmers hobbyist or professional, and could help solve problems with traditional irrigation methods. And that's the APIR system, the Arduino-powered irrigation system, lending a helping hand to all plants around the world.